days. Normally we're doing quiet time, but right when Jax was sitting down to do a science lab, his neighborhood online friends messaged to see if he wanted to go to the park. Good morning everyone, it is about 11 something, I don't know, we've been doing breakfast and homeschool and then I was waiting a little while while my husband was on a call so that we didn't leave right then and have the dog barking even more. Everybody's been so noisy, I feel so bad for him. But we're going to go out and do a forest loop and then go to the library. I also need to stop into a UPS store. We do have one in a different area that we keep a, a dress on, but I'm gonna just go into the one in the shopping center we're always at to do an Amazon return. This just arrived like 15 minutes ago. Already knew it was way too small when I saw it. Like not small, I'm tiny, but way too short. Asian, Asian sizing, I guess. Like the armpits, too tight, even with the straps at maximum. The body, like, this is how I like, like, here's my hip bones, I like long shirts. This is about up to here, so like a couple inches above my, the waist of my pants, which is no go. Don't like my belly sticking out at all. So, I also didn't like the fabric, so now I know I don't like viscose. I'm on a mission to find more bra tops, because these ones I got from Target over the years, they have not made them for years, and mine are falling apart, so. That's a no-go, but in the age of a pandemic, I'm thankful for Amazon sending me things in two days and I can immediately return it and I will get credit today and be able to order something new. So yeah, we're gonna get going. Hey everyone, we are now starting our walk. We just stopped by Starbucks feeling nice and got ordered them some strawberry banana frappuccinos and we get in there and it turns out they were out of bananas not a big deal he offered to refund it and make regular ones so i was assuming refund the banana price it's like 250 total for two bananas they meant they were going to refund the whole drink and make them for free so are you enjoying your free strawberry frappuccinos they're really good if I, if I, if I use my imagination, actually, Thai tastes like this. Huh. I guess it's strawberry and vanilla, so maybe that's why. But yeah, so my cart did reload because I spent so much on those drinks. But then I got $13 back for those two frappuccinos. I just got a little coffee that I put in my hot cup. So yeah, that's great, I guess. <laughs> If they were four sixty-five, and then you add a dollar twenty-five each, and then seventy cents for him because he had to get special non-dairy milk. So yeah, that was a little bonus to our day. And now we're just gonna soak up some nature. Woo! Be careful.
Hello everyone, we are outside. Normally we're doing quiet time, but right when Jax was sitting down to do a science lab, his neighborhood online friends messaged to see if he wanted to go to the park. So we are at the park. Those, that pink spot is one of their friends running with Sebastian and I guess another neighborhood kid. Jax is over on the swings in the yellow. I'm not gonna show much because there's some other kids. Uh, our only requirements were masks for them and adult supervision. And they did come down with their mom to our house and walked here together. I had to leave with Sebastian because he had to pee after we'd been here about 10 minutes and came back. The mom is not here anymore, but they are having fun and I'm just gonna sit and chill and be the adult. And yeah, we're just gonna enjoy some sunlight again. Just spend as much time as we can outdoors, I guess. So we just made it back from the playground and the kids were so thrilled to play together. Their mom was nice. She came back after a little bit. When I returned from taking Sebastian to the bathroom, they got to play until about 4.30 and now we are back home. Jax is going to do some more of his schoolwork. He's going to have to do his science lab tomorrow though. But I'm going to cook some soup. But yeah, I liked talking with their mom, hearing about how the public school is doing things. I guess the kindergarten through second has been back to school if people choose the hybrid model. They're going in two days a week currently and then after Thanksgiving break, third through fifth is supposed to join them, but I don't know. See, it sounds like it's a little bit up in the air. It's definitely not the smartest to plan because everybody will be seeing family for Thanksgiving break. Like a lot of people bring their extended family in. So you would think that for two weeks after that, it's kind of a danger zone to suddenly bring all the kids back together. But then if you were to wait two weeks before starting it up, you're so close to winter break. So I would think it would make more sense for them to go back in January, but what do I know? I don't know. Anyway, I'm so glad they had fun. Sebastian was playing with the girl who's in fourth grade and Jax was mostly sticking with the boy who's his age in fifth grade. And sorry, closing myself in here because then I get a moment away from Sebastian, my little shadow. Anyway, that's all I have to say for now. I am going to put this tangly hair up so I can cook some soup without dipping it in the soup or setting it on fire.
friends. It is 9.27. They are reading together. Let's hope that goes well. They're feeling very ambitious and thinking they're gonna do three to four books. <laughs> Don't know if that's gonna be true. But I do think that Sebastian's probably a little wired from his accidental nap that he does not admit to. <laughs> but more on that later. Let's talk about our day. No president yet. I don't even, I mean, future viewers looking back at this time, definitely look at the news that was going on. I don't know how partisan the news will be, but most certainly Trump is trying every last thing he can to try to stop votes from being counted where he thinks they are going to Biden. It is still very close. Biden has more votes, but as we know, you don't have to win the popular vote to become the president. And if Trump is reelected, he will have lost the popular vote twice and still become president. So everybody's still stressing out. I have people in my Facebook feed who are certainly more obsessed with it than others. Sometimes that's helpful to me. I could just pop in twice a day and see what they've been saying. I don't have to number crunch and obsess. I'm still trying to stay outside as much as I can. My allergies are not thanking me for that, but I feel like I have a little bit more happy chemicals inside than I did at the beginning of the week. But let's just go over our day. Oh, let's just first recap a little bit on COVID, which the president said he has beaten COVID. Not personally, he did, if he didn't lie about having it in the first place, but the pandemic in the US is over, according to him. But yesterday we had 100,000 new positive COVID tests in one day. And the percentage of children getting it has skyrocketed. I know at least one person who lives in Colorado, who I'm friends with, they have been going back to school in like a part-time hybrid model since the beginning of the school year. They just went all virtual because their numbers are, our numbers are creeping up. We've had a 5% positivity rate for a while and it's up in the sixes now keeping an eye on it. It gets sent to me in a text every day. I don't know. We just booked our May beach trip that we just drive to. The house that we booked last May and did not get to go because the Outer Banks was completely closed down to everybody except those who live there full time. So hopefully we will be able to go that time. It looked like a nice house, a fun house. And it was a bummer to not get to go and then instead get a backup rental in June. It was just somebody's leftovers when they canceled their trip. It was not the house we would have picked. It had some good about it, but yeah. But we're thinking absolutely not on a winter trip. We normally go and see family in September and in January or it can kind of be October and February, wherever it lands. We kind of work around my girl schedule, if you know what I mean, as best as we can. It's kind of unpredictable, but yeah, not gonna be safe. We have a wedding for family that was supposed to be in October and that got postponed to July. Even before they postponed it, we had went ahead and booked our October beach trip for that same day because we knew we could not go to California at that point. So that's, this would be in Washington state, but we would have just made our California trip kind of like a West Coast thing. Would have been amazing. But yeah, so we didn't go on our fall trip to see family. Last time we'd been there was February of this year. And normally we would go again. There's a house we always rent in Carlsbad Village. But yeah, that's not gonna happen. So this is when we would be booking those flights in that house. 
Instead, this morning my husband booked our beach house for May. And we're just going to wait that six months till our next trip, I guess. I don't know if there's a possibility of any sort of a more local trip. I wouldn't feel comfortable with a hotel, so I don't know. It's something we can look at. I did request a day trip this weekend to get the kids out more. This was before we had that surprise play date. So they're already feeling way perkier. You can tell they're in their reading together. Let's go peek in on them. But hopefully we can figure out something drivable for the day. My husband's willing to drive up to four hours, but I think eight hours total is a little much. That looks cute. All right, well, anyway, let me go over our day. I've just been going on all these tangents and I haven't even started and it's been six minutes. Sorry. When I open up the brain door, it just goes and vomits out at you. I'm <laughs> sorry. Until I just like slam the door shut. You're just getting my thoughts. I have an inner monologue and it is all the time. It is always like I am speaking to somebody else. So we got up and everybody's grumpy, especially Sebastian. But we finally get him dressed and downstairs by like 10.30. It was a struggle. Part of it, I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna be here and read news. He's gonna lay there and watch TV and hopefully get less grumpy. But yeah, we made it down. We had some breakfast, some more pumpkin bread and fruit because my husband had put in an order last night from Sprouts. I've never actually been there in person. It's in a town we used to live in, but it wasn't there when we lived there. But it is on Instacart, so I think it sounds kind of Whole Foodsy. I don't know. So we had fresh fruit to tide us over till I do our weekly groceries, probably on Sunday instead of Saturday, since we did get that to tide us over. And then Jax had done about half of his schoolwork and it was 11 and I was ready to just get outside, but my husband was on a call and I didn't want to leave and had the dog barking at us right then. So we did for about a half an hour for till he said he was off his call and then we went ahead and went to the library. They had some new crafts and stuff that we wanted to pick up and a special book on like a middle grades chapter book about immigration and a girl moving from China, I guess. I don't know. It looked interesting to me when I saw the email, so we requested one. For some reason, I misread and thought it was a graphic novel, and it wasn't, so he was a little disappointed when he saw that, but hopefully he'll read it. We don't have book club anymore to motivate him to read these kind of books that are out of his normal genres. But we got a bunch of books, being optimistic that Sebastian would let us read to him. I've just gone ahead and like grabbed two books every night this week, regardless of whether he's asking for them to just get him back in the habit. When we lost nap, we lost two books a day and then he just suddenly didn't want his six books at night. So yeah, we kind of were stalling on our thousand books before kindergarten. But we got our books and crafts and then we hopped in the car and drove over to the shopping center double reasons to go there. I had ordered a bra tank, as I said. It's just totally wrong, totally wrong. It's like wedged up my armpits and didn't even cover like my belly button. It was so short. It's this viscose fabric, viscose and spandex, and I did not like how it felt. And you can wash it. It was hand wash and lay flat to dry. Not gonna work for me. So, tried it on just to to see so I could compare the, the measurements from that to any future ones I order and went right back in the bag and I clicked on return within like 10 minutes of receiving it in the mail. And so we were going to that shopping center because we really like the walk that we can get to from there but also because there's a UPS store and I could just walk right in and drop it off. It's not our UPS store so I feel a little like I well, don't pay you for anything, but here, take my package for free. I'm sure Amazon pays them for that. But it's more convenient than driving over to ours. So I dropped that off. We got some 
drinks. I just got, oh, I don't think I talked to you about the drinks. Yeah, I decided to be nice and get them frappuccinos. And not only that, I offered to add banana to their strawberry frappuccinos. I may or may not have said this. I may have said this when you're starting your walk. But yeah, we walk in and they had made my coffee, but not the frappuccinos. He's like, I'm so sorry, we're out of bananas. How about I refund you and make you plain ones, plain strawberry. I'm like, oh, that's fine. I figured he meant refund the $1.25 of bananas times two. So I'm sent over to the manager on duty at the computer. And she like looks at my mobile order and is like, okay, so does 13 blah, blah, blah sound right? I'm like, I don't know, I guess so. That's what I paid for the drinks, assuming that she would then charge me for the plain drinks, not the banana ones. So she, she's like, okay, go ahead and scan. And then she's like, okay, you're all done. I'm like, well, I signed for something too, but I'm like, oh, okay, thank you so much. Cause then I was thinking in that they meant they would just for free make the frappuccinos after refunding me, not refunding the difference or recharging me. So the drinks are free. And my card is, my Starbucks card is set to auto reload when it gets below 10. So that order got it below 10. So I watched it go do 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 and now it's way above the 25. It's like in the 30s. So that's fine. I hear that they're giving out free holiday cups if I get a holiday drink. Don't normally get holiday drinks. But if we walk over there tomorrow, I might just do that and get a holiday cup. Because it might be a good one for Sebastian to have if it's a reusable cup. He's been wanting hot cocos and hot apple ciders. Oh my god, I'm talking so much. I'm so sorry. And I just know that when I'm editing it, editing this, I'm gonna have it on the highest speed so I can get through it. And I'm probably also gonna skip it over, skip over all of this so hopefully nothing is wrong and I don't need to caption anything because I probably didn't proof this part because Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm already saying it now. I don't need to hear it again. <laughs> and I'm laying in bed while he's falling asleep and I'm editing this and I'm trying to go as fast as I can because when it's exporting, that's when I go and say goodnight to Jax. And then when I'm downstairs getting my water is when it's uploading to YouTube. So gotta stay on track. Anyway, so yeah, we got our drinks. We went on our walk. We went through the forest loop. It was warm and sunny and lovely and we were peeling off layers again and somebody was on the playground, both of the playgrounds. Didn't get to go, tried to distract Sebastian by having everybody pick pine cones right beside the park and we're going to make bird feeders out of them tomorrow or this weekend. So we just head home, they're okay, they're happier now and we have some lunch, Jax settles into finish his schoolwork he had to do history and science so he starts on the science and gets to the point where it's time for him to sit down with his lab and do that when he starts getting messages from his friend in the neighborhood who he facetimes and plays games with the one i had set up together over facebook they want to get together in person at first we were confused i was like you can't go in anybody's house but they meant to go to they said the park and we didn't know which park they meant there's like little grassy areas and stuff. There's playgrounds and things in our neighborhood. So they figure out where we are. They're just like a block and a half away. They're really close. They said they'll walk up to our house and take us to the park. Turns out the park is the playground in our neighborhood. I never called it that. I've always called it the playground, but it does have a big grassy area. So that makes sense. So Guys, hold on, I'm gonna stop this clip and restart it again because I feel like this file is gonna be really big on my phone. Hang tight. Okay, so we agree to having them come over, but my husband's rules and I agree is super. Why are we yelling? Don't spoil it, Sebastian. So we agreed to do it if everybody wears masks and there's adult supervision. So they arrive with their mom. Everybody's just like completely normal and happy since they've been fa FaceTiming, it's not awkward at all. And Sebastian's on his bike and we all walk over to the playground and they start playing. They're awesome about keeping their masks on. Sebastian has to pee, so 
Well, I have I have to say, hey, I'll be back in ten minutes or so. My mom is still there, and they promised to be good, so we head home. And Sebastian goes pee. We head back. I didn't see the mom anymore, but it's all good. They they still got their masks on. They're playing, having fun, and. The sister, she starts playing with Sebastian, which makes his day. He is in love with her now. <laughs> He's just like, I wish I'd lived with her so I could play with her all the time. Just, you know, a little kid when somebody pays attention to them and just lets them choose what to play. And that playing is his thing. It's his jam all day long. Will you play with me? So they did that. They had to go at 4.30. The mom came back after I'd been back for like 10 minutes. So she probably needed a bathroom break or check into something. But they headed home, I headed home, and I needed to go to the bathroom before starting dinner. So I head upstairs. This is right when the sun's going down. I hear Sebastian say, Mom, Mom, where are you going? And I was like, I'm just going to the bathroom, buddy, then I'm going to cook dinner. So I go in the bathroom. I didn't lock it for once because I thought he would follow me right in. It sounded like he was following me up the stairs, and I was expecting the bus in, but he didn't. So I was in there for a little while because I went to the bathroom and then I was like brushing my hair and putting it up and I come out, it's dark in the room because it had been sunset. So I just turn off the bathroom light and head downstairs and start cooking. I didn't see my husband or Sebastian. So I thought they were downstairs in the basement because Sebastian follows people everywhere. So I'm like, okay, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. The soup's like getting to the point where it just needs to like thicken up, boil down. And my husband comes up, I'm like, where's Sebastian? I thought he was with you. <laughs> and he's like, I don't know. I thought he was with you. And he's like, not downstairs. It's just dark and quiet. And I'm like, he probably fell asleep. So I go up the stairs and sure enough, it's held up right here. This is Bappy fast asleep. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I go downstairs. I like leave the hall light on and the door open so he could wake up to have light and not be too confused. And I'm like, I guess one of us has to wake him up when the food's ready. But right as the food was being finished, like my husband was making grilled cheese, he comes down the stairs and he denies that he was napping. He was, he's like, my eyes were open. I just didn't see you. I was like teasing. I was like, I didn't see you up there. I walked right by you. But he was in a good mood. I think he's just a little bit extra awake. He also did just have some sugar. But... That was interesting. Anyway, we ate dinner, and then after dinner, he wanted to play with my husband, and they didn't know what to do, so I pulled out a little math ice cream game, and then they, they asked me if I could join them in a game of Blockus. I guess that needs three people. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll play around. And then I went on to Puzzle, because I can usually avoid them <laughs> and have some quiet when I do Puzzle, but he still wanted to play with my husband, so. They ended up doing a puzzle together in there. And then Sebastian ran off to play with Jax, and I guess they're just still in a good mood, so they're doing great. And yeah, now it's now, and I've talked way too long, so I'm gonna say goodnight. I don't think very many of you are gonna make it to the end of this, so. Yeah, I saved it, because I knew you would like it. I read it last night, I was gonna do it. Yeah, I was really good at doing all the angry, angry mobs, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, show everybody that book if you have a toddler. It's, it's a really cute one. Yeah, it's adorable. Oh, yeah, we like that. You anyway, can pick it up from your local library. I am going to say goodnight, so you don't have to listen to me anymore. Thank you for making it this far, all one of you. It, leave a comment and say you made it to the end. You can post a, hmm, paste in a maple leaf for fall. And we'll see if more than one person made it. I think it's, it's only going to be one and you know who you are. So, good night, stay safe, and don't forget, wash your hands. <laughs>